welcome to you. This is uh, we're getting ready to launch the warm up uh, to teach to reach. You can see we're two minutes away. We have some final adjustments to make, um, especially in fact uh, to turn on the live stream in the plenary room in Hopin. All right, should now be good to go. Um, let's go to the stage and make sure that is actually the case. Oops. Okay. Um, there seems to be an issue here. All right. Let me just. There has to be a technical issue before we start at least one of the sessions, but this seems to be okay. All right, uh, so I'm going to have to go and get the link. We're one minute, 30 seconds away from getting started, so we should be fine. Um, we've never had, never really had, for, we've been fortunate uh, <laughs> and spared uh, problems with the, um, ah, I see, yeah, okay, there was. One symbol missing. Okay, this is the sort of technical details of what we do. Okay, here we go. So now you should be able to go to the stage in Hopin and uh, join the uh, live session. For those of you who are just joining on the stage, we had a technical difficulty, so there may be a slight delay. Um, and of course, we are eager to get started and we are 55 seconds away from getting started. So let's change the pace a little bit. Here we go. All right, 22 seconds until uh, Teacher Reach 9 warm up for Anglophone started. We're getting ready to go, and already many of you in the uh, in the Zoom room in our Zoom studio. And here we go. Four seconds. Three, two, one. We almost missed the countdown. This is a global event. An amazing event, and we're glad that you're here. If you're watching the recording, please be reassured that's okay. You're missing the live event, but we're still here for you. You can still fully participate. Now, uh, to kick off, we are going to start in a few minutes. We're waiting for Charlotte and Boo to join us in our Zoom studio, but uh, she will be my uh, co-host for this afternoon of Plenaries in English. Of course, this is Teach to Reach Connect. This is a unique opportunity to uh, really meet, network, and learn. And for those of you who've been here before, you know that we always review the level of attendance at uh, Teach to Reach over the successive editions. Teach to Reach 6 already had 12,398 participants. Teach to Reach 7 at 13,676. Teach to Reach 8 on the 16th of June 2023. That number went up to 16,835, including almost 10,000 Anglophones. And I'm pleased to announce today that the total number of health professionals being reached by Teach to Reach 9 is 9,691 Anglophones in the grand total of 17,662 health professionals being reached by Teach to Reach 9 today. This is not only about the uh, relation that we have with you at the, as the Geneva Learning Foundation, it is also very much about the, uh, the network, um, the relationships that you have with each other. Now, I'd like to turn to uh, Zakari, uh, first to Deborah Tembo. And for those of you who are new, we always ask this question. Um, and we've challenged Deborah. So first, Deborah, d do introduce yourself and then tell us in one sentence, explain Teach to Reach. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Leda, and also uh, thank you all health professionals, immunization officers that have joined uh, the, the webinar today. My name uh, is Deborah Tembo. I'm uh, in Zambia. I'm an epidemiologist that is working uh, with uh, 
the ministry under the Zambia National Public Health Institute, and also I'm supporting uh, polio outbreak response activities. So part of the activities that we do uh, includes uh, immunization. So me explaining uh, a teach to leech in uh, one sentence, I can say it's uh, there to enhance uh, immunization activities, ensuring all children are vaccinated by sharing ideas amongst immunization officers. Wonderful. Thank you, Thank uh, Deborah. You. Yes. Uh, all right. Next is Zakari Sani. Zak Zakari or Zakari. Uh, you'll tell us which one is correct. Introduce yourself and also tell us Teach to Reach in one sentence. Deborah will come back to you with the next question, what you expect from Teach to Reach and what challenge you need help with. But let's hear from Zachary first. Zachary? All right. Zachary's not. Uh, no, Zachary, you need to unmute your microphone. Let's go back to Deborah and we'll ask you the follow up question. Deborah or Ukamaka Oka 4, are you there? And yes, okay. I'm here. All right, Deborah, yes, you're I'm back. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Zachary, uh, so we ask all our guests of honor, please, you know, if we call, as soon as we call on you, if you can be attentive so that we do not find, leave participants to teach to reach with long pauses. Deborah, I want to come back to you. I'm not quite done. Uh, if you can now unmute once again. Yes, okay, great. Yeah, um, yeah okay. so next question yeah. is what do you expect from Teach to Reach 9? Okay, what I expect from Teach to Reach 9 is to learn how to penetrate in penetrable uh, uh, places where we are having challenges to vaccinate children, especially those that are concerned uh, with uh, religious uh, beliefs where they uh, refuse children to get vaccinated. So I hope to learn from other uh, vaccination and immunization officers on how we can be able to penetrate these areas. A wonderful, Deborah Tembo. And so what challenge specifically? Can you give me a specific challenge that you face that you need help with? And then tell me how you think Teach to Reach 9 today might be able to help you. Okay, so the major challenge is... Uh, we are having outbreaks due to uh, uh, among us the children that are unvaccinated, especially uh, conditions like uh, uh, measles. So I expect that I will be able to learn on how to be able to uh, manage uh, these challenges and help uh, immunization immunize, immunize the children so that we uh, prevent and reduce these outbreaks. Wonderful. Thank you, Deborah. Now let's go to Uka Maka Uka 4. Uh, Uka Maka, are you able? To yes, you're ready. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. yes, uh, please introduce yourself. Uh, remind us who you are, where you work, what you do, and then explain Teach to Reach in just one sentence. Okay. I'm um, Uka Maka Uka 4, a pharmacist in Nigeria. Teach to Reach is a platform to meet so many health professionals all over the world and learn how to how they are doing their own work on immunization and use it to refine your own strategies. Thank you. Wonderful. Very, very, very well done. Now, uh, can you uh, can you tell us what is a challenge that you face in the daily work you do for immunization uh, that you need help with? Yes, the challenge I face is that um, the people, the little those children that are to be immunized are not having access to the health center because it's only one health center and the road in the community is very bad. So I'm looking for how I can uh, have another immunization uh, design to take the vaccinations to the places like the community pharmacy and the retail medicine sellers, the patent medicine shops, the, the traditional bed attendants where the community can easily access. So that is what I would like the teach to reach to help me to, to have that design that can um, um, that can uh, make the government to begin to carry those vaccines, not only in the one health post in that community, but also to where the community can access the vaccines easily. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Now, um, you, Ukamaka Okafor, Deborah Tembo, as well as Zakari Sani, you're all in our Zoom studio because you've been invited as our guests of honor for today's uh, Teach to Reach. What does that mean? It means that you took the time to share your experience ahead of Teach to Reach 9 on a number of themes, including the Open Source Manifesto for Global Health version 2 that we'll be hearing in a few minutes, uh, the Movement for Immunization Agenda, Reaching Zero Dose Children, but also topics 
aspects outside of uh, immunization, such as climate change and health and neglected needs of uh, women's health. Uh, one person in the Francophone session put it very uh, in a very interesting way. This is, uh, this is a one health approach, and that is very much the spirit in which we are uh, approaching this. Now, in fact, I've told you about the manifesto. And for those of you who are there at Teach to Reach 8, we presented version 1.0. And following Teach to Reach 8 in June, we collected inputs, ideas, experiences, uh, suggestions, comments from over 1,300 health professionals from all over the world. This manifesto is not specifically about immunization. We're still discussing the title. There will probably be a very active discussion uh, around that uh, very soon. But what I'm, we're going to do now is actually we're going to... Um, ask you to listen to the first part of the manifesto uh, as a kind of warm-up. We'll do that again in the uh, uh, when we get to the uh, opening ceremony, but I wanted to ask uh, Charlotte already to, to share with us part one um, uh, during this, uh, this warm-up for Teach to Reach, uh, maybe just the very first section to give everyone a taste of what's in the manifesto that we'll be hearing in the opening ceremony. And I hope, <laughs> Charlotte, that you've uh, resolved your connectivity issues, and if if so, then I'm here, Reda. Okay, it wasn't wonderful. Really it was more of a logistical, organizational <laughs> issue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here and uh, hello, everyone. So the first part of the manifesto is who are we and where do we work? Uh, while many of us have trained as health workers, we also come from other professional backgrounds. We are teachers, social workers, scientists, academics and technicians. Some of us are volunteers. We receive little or no payment for carrying out health work in our communities. We come from all levels of health systems and are aware of the strengths and limitations of these large and complex organizations and the critical role of political direction and leadership in making these systems work. Some of us lead big teams at national and regional levels. Others are responsible for specific areas of work within a local facility or across several facilities. Many of us work with poor communities. For some of the people we work with, healthcare is not a priority above economic activity to survive. The communities we work with may be geographically hard to reach, suspicious of governments and by extension us, or hold religious or cultural beliefs that do not easily adopt the science we base our work on. Some of us highlight how decisions about housing, sanitation, and education affect the health of the communities we serve. But decisions on these things are made without reference to population's health needs. COVID-19 has for many of us highlighted the fragility of the systems we work in and our relationships with these communities. For some of us, it has meant more investment and renewed political focus on health care. For others, it has meant cuts in key budgets and the rise of new threats to our work, such as rumors spread by social media. Many of us remember the fear of the early days of the pandemic and losing colleagues and friends, and often carrying out our work without adequate protective equipment. For some of us, this period confirmed why we signed up to work in health. For others, this period was a source of mental stress and anxiety. Each of us is working in a unique context. The nuances of community structures, culture and religion interact with the structures, image and resourcing of our own health systems. To be successful, we must make this, this interface work. Those of us who work in humanitarian contexts report further dimensions of complexity in our work. Our security is often not guaranteed. The facilities and equipment that we rely on may be targeted and destroyed and our target populations may be inaccessible or displaced. Thank you. All right, what we'd like to ask is, this is a first reading, we'll be doing a second reading when we move to the opening ceremony, but uh, again, is not only what you think of what is said, but also how does this make you feel? What else do you want to say and why? How can we improve what is written and who we are saying it to? So we're presenting Manifesto version 2 in this uh, session and we'll be inviting all um, 17,662 participants to actually uh, share their feedback on the Manifesto following uh, Teach to Reach. All right, so now let's get down to some of the practical issues by now, unless you are a guest of honor who's been specifically invited to join our Zoom studio. Um, you should be uh, watching this from the stage in Hopin. Now I know 
we're receiving messages from YouTube, from LinkedIn, um, from Facebook as well. So we know that there are folks watching from there. I would really, really encourage you to move to the uh, hop-in platform. This is what we use for the conference. You can see it here when you reach the reception. So at the top of the hour, I'll be sharing, I'll be doing a tutorial with Charlotte to really show you step-by-step, step, if for whatever reason you have not been able to join this platform, how to do this. Uh, and you can see here, there's already quite a bit of, um, uh, let me actually, this I think, yeah, is no longer time to network. <laughs> it is now time to join the uh, uh, the plenary, what's called the stage in Hopin. So when you come can, come here, you'll see this red um, red dot with, I'm going to mute myself, and this is where you can actually watch, where you should be watching this session. Uh, we're going to greet some of the folks who are here. Uh, so Mustafa uh, Mukhtar Aliyouf, a warm welcome to you. And please, um, Mustafa, we'd like to ask you, you can also take on the questions that our guests of honor are answering. So uh, the questions are, explain Teach to Reach in one sentence, and then what do you expect from Teach to Reach, and what challenge do you need help with? So Mustafa, if you're watching, there may be a slight delay, depending on when you arrived uh, to the stage. But as soon as you hear me mention your name, we'd like to know what challenge you need help with and what are you expecting from Teach to Reach. The same with Dr. Faiza Rabani, uh, the same with Edward Gakuru from Kigali, Rwanda. We'd love to uh, uh, to know, uh, and warm greetings back to you, Faiza. Um, would love to you to know, Edward, uh, what challenge you need help with, what help you're hoping to find at uh, Teach to Reach. Now, the key here is to always check the schedule. There's a lot going on. There will be times when there are concurrent sessions. So you can see right now you have the warm up, which is where you are, but you also have the networking for French speakers. So do not get confused if it says Francais. That is not a session for you if you only speak English. The English language sessions are here. And let me show you one small trick. When you click on the little funnel and then click on English, that will show you only the English sessions from that point on. So that is uh, what, um, what we want to uh, cover. We'll be covering that in more detail during the tutorial. Now, let's go back to our guests of honor. And again, if you're watching from wherever you may be, uh, we want to know what you expect from Teach to Reach and what challenge uh, you need help with. Charlotte, back to you to tell me, uh, to guide me to who, sh who will be the, our next uh, speaker. We have uh, Alaji Liman Bulama Hussan was raised that I'm inviting to asking to unmute. Um, we also have Mary Juma. Right. We could try Zachary Sani. So I'm inviting you, please. Uh, so as yes. guest of honor. All right, okay. Zachary, I think I remember he, he tried but had some difficulties. I hope he's resolved these. Zachary, um, what do you expect from Teach to Reach 9? Yes, I expect to use my capacity and abilities as professional in the immunization field on how to reach those uh, missed children and drop out, most especially in the underserved communities or hard to reach communities. All right. Thank you, Zakari. And uh, what challenge uh, do you need help with? Can you be very specific? Tell us who you are, where you work, and what is a specific challenge that you're facing? Okay. Uh, I'm Zakari Sani, and a public health practitioner at Kano Set Primary Health Care Management, but also as far as uh, WHO LGA facilitator. I work at the district level, working in Garimala and LGA of Kano State. So as for now, we have challenge of outbreaks of vaccine preventable diseases which is linked to uh on completion of protein immunization by children under 24 months in which uh uh belief religious belief and poverty are the major factors that make those children to be partially immunized or uncompletely immunized all right, thank you very much indeed, uh, Zakari Sani. Let's go now to Mary uh, Juma, uh, Charlotte, as you as you suggested. Mary, a warm welcome to you. Uh, don't forget to introduce yourself and tell us uh, what challenge are you facing that you need help with and how you think Teach to Reach can help you today. Yeah, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Mary Juma. Uh, I work in Matisse Dispensary, Bungoma County, Kenya. 
And uh, uh, what I expect here is to get connected to uh, new uh, uh, community health workers to get more experiences from different places in the world. And uh, uh, my challenge is that uh, we have, uh, uh, we travel too much, especially when we want to reach people for immunization, especially when we have uh, the missiles outbreak. Uh, we have to make dialogue days, and then we have to travel so that we can make our services to be closer to the community. So uh, those are the challenges, and we have also defaulters. We have defaulters who we always uh, uh, go house to house, we visit them house to house, and uh, we have to give them help talk, we check their booklets, and then we, when we find that they are not uh, following the sequence properly for immunization, uh, we uh, refer them to the nearest health facility uh, and uh, then we have to follow them up and see uh, to it that they are following the sequence for immunization properly. So those are so far the challenges and uh, also the challenges is that uh, um, we have some stock out sometimes uh, we don't have enough stock for immunization. So uh, supplies is sometimes is a big problem to our place. So those are some of the challenges that we are facing in our community as a community health volunteer. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, now let's go to Adamu Galadima Dagona. Adamu, a warm welcome to you. Tell us where you're from, what you do uh, in, uh, in health, uh, because today's Teach to Reach is not only about immunization. And then uh, yeah. tell us what challenge you need help with. Yeah, in fact, I'm Adamu Galadima Dagona from Federal University Geshua. I'm the lecturer and Department of Microbiology. So I've been with the teach race since the inception of 2022. So therefore, the challenge that I have just formulated that I am facing is the, I just want to see the vaccine, that the challenge is the vaccine hesitancy that exhibit, exacerbated by the post-COVID-19 and also the effect of the climate change related to dis disruptions and how to address it through a kind of a uh, comprehensive action plan that I've developed, I will develop, uh, that I've already developed, involving community engagement, infrastructure, improvement of the security measures, and also the supply chain in order to overcome those post-COVID-19 and the climate change related disruption for the immunization of other related health challenges. Thank you, uh, Adamu Galadima Dagona. And how do you think uh, participation in Teach to Reach today is going to help you with that, with this, uh, with this, uh, with this challenge? Uh, what for you is the value of hearing fellow practitioners, uh, yeah. in your case, a researcher, but listening to health professionals share their experience? Yeah. So in fact, in fact, Teach to Reach have uh, taught me many things at the back for the inception of the Teach to Reach in this program. My expectation is to rob mine with, uh, with, with, with people from the different walks of life in order to integrate the ideas, to tell what are those related challenges, each of, each of the experts and the, the, the practitioners are facing in their respective kind of a destination. So they will bring and showcase so many different approach in which we can rob mine in order to come up with a kind of a holistic measures in which to involve the community engagement and other improvise, to improve the security measures and the supply chain to involve everybody in the society in order to overcome the health challenges and other health priorities in our own and our home country and in our own kind of a domain. Thank you, Adam. Guests of honor in the Zoom studio. I see, I saw at least one uh, response. Uh, let me see where, where, where do we go. Um, it is so many. Uh, I think it's on the stage. Um, right. We asked Edward Gakuru to uh, tell us what his expectation is of Teach to Reach, so he's now responding. Uh, there is a delay for some people, depending on how they are watching the live stream, uh, to connect with global expertise in health and learn more on how to support last mile vulnerable communities. Saran Kande uh, is a doctor from Guinea, very happy to be uh, here for this occasion, very interested. Saran, tell us why you are interested. The same question for you, Joyce Marithi. We're glad you're here, um, and but we want to know what challenge uh, do you need help with? We'll be doing that in the eight minutes from now. We'll be shifting to really a practice-focused tutorial for anyone who has not made it to the 
conference platform will be showing you exactly how to get the most out of uh, Teach to Reach. So back to you, uh, Charlotte. Oh, actually, there were a few more, if I may, Charlotte, uh, a few more greetings. There are people watching from social media, so uh, greetings. I'm just going to greet a few of them. Um, uh, Sadi, who says, great to be part of Teach to Reach, connecting from Uganda. Uh, wonderful to see you. Dr. Farid Ahmed from Bangladesh. Uh, Samyalu from uh, Samyalu Miraj from Kabul, Afghanistan is here. And then uh, Vivian Ben Obiagu. Um, so a warm welcome to you all. I do want to emphasize that uh, there is going to be a point at which in order to participate fully in teach to reach you will need to move to the conference platform. But if this is the only way you've been able to access, uh, then that is fine. Please stay where you are and I hope the connectivity stays with you. Back to you, Charlotte. Who shall we hear from next about expectations and challenges? Brother, we have Dr. Bala uh, Ganesha Kuma. Uh, that's connecting from India. Uh, Dr. Bala, over to you. Yes, 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 Reda. Good evening. Good evening, all of you. I'm Dr. Bala Ganesha Kumar from Tamil Nadu, southern part of India. That's Kanyakumari, southern tip of India. I work for in the WHO World Health Organization as a surveillance medical officer. I am taking care of this vaccine preventable disease surveillance as well as monitoring the routine immunization in my districts. Uh, how uh, this regarding the teach to reach what i feel is this teach to reach, teach to reach i have attended all the sessions that this teaches us how to reach all the children with all the essential vaccines throughout the globe so this is a very good platform and we are learning many new things from them and my uh, challenge what i uh, feel here is this is a well educated place and uh, we don't have mass uh, hesitancy this is not there in my place but in if it is a mass hesitancy from some sort of religious, we can talk with the religious leaders also. But this is what I feel is there are some naturopathy doctors, they are telling some wrong things about the vaccines and some individual families are hesitant to get the vaccines. So they are not, um, uh, there are no clustering about this vaccine, uh, hesitancy families also. Individual families, they are well uh, educated also, but they feel um, somehow they feel that this vaccine is not necessary for our child and we can uh, grow our child without any sort of vaccines or something like that. So from the expert team and from these all learned people, I want to learn how to approach this type of hesitancy also. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Let's now go to Tangwa, Gulit and Kanyan and Kanyi. Uh, apologies <laughs> for uh, mispronouncing your name. Um, Tangwa, um, over to you. We'd love to hear you introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, where you work, what you do uh, in health, and then tell us what challenge you need help with and how do you think participating in Teach to Reach is going to help you. Okay, good afternoon to everyone. I'm called Tongwa Gile from Cameroon. I work in the Mojo Health District in Cameroon, Southwest. So I believe this platform will help me a long run to learn from other to see I can get some strategy some lukewarm, some holes where I can fit in my the context of my country so as to fight the zero dose and other challenge related to outbreak related to vaccine prevented disease in my country, Cameroon. So I just know with this platform, I will learn something great. I will add more knowledge and also be able to capacitate other colleagues in my district and in my country, Cameroon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Now, many of you, and especially the, for the guests of honor that we've specifically invited in this uh, in our Zoom studio today, um, have shared experiences around a number of key now, themes. Many and of you, and especially the, the guests of honor, that you may be wondering what happens to the experiences that you shared. Um, and this is where we introduce the Geneva Learning Foundation's Knowledge to Action Hub, again, support of Immunization Agenda 2030. Last October at Teach to Reach 7, we created um, this hub in order to build a kind of um, sustainable, self-sustaining mechanism by which new knowledge leads to action. And so, for example, at Teach to Reach, every experience that you share is then compiled, analyzed, curated into a volume of experiences organized thematically what you see on screen is the one for teach to reach eight now this knowledge action hub contains within it many different paths to action we share the data sets the raw experiences you can also listen to the insights 
uh, shared by uh, by your peers, by global experts. There are also, of course, formal reports. You can see here the little thumbnail for the Teach to Reach 7 report. And then there's the double loop newsletter. We'll be sh you'll be receiving by email. Every Teach to Reach participant will receive the invitation to join these uh, and use these different resources and then we'll be asking you over time what you are doing with these ideas and practices that you gain from teach to reach in fact last uh, one week ago we got some very interesting answers asking you to name one specific idea that you learned at teach to reach and how this idea has helped you so that is uh to introduce the Knowledge to Action Hub. Keep an eye on your email. You'll be receiving the invitation to join the hub. And now back to you, Charlotte. Uh, we have time maybe for one last uh, speaker. And I see several hands raised at the bottom of the list here. Um, we can try Anu Rotimi, yeah. unless you have someone you'd like to call on. Yeah, Reda, um, uh, we have a good number of hands raised. Yes. Lily, uh, Mutua. All right. Uh, uh, Lily, there is a lot of noise around you. We are not able to hear you. Okay, let's go to our fire today. And that's My okay. name is Lillian Mutua from Nairobi, Kenya. I practice health promotion in Nairobi County which is the capital of Nairobi. We've just concluded a polio round two campaign, having had uh, confirmed cases of polio in one of our refugees camp in Dadaab, that is in Garissa. My issue is, I would like us maybe in the next few sessions to discuss about um, some populations who are hesitant or refuse the vaccination because of mistrust and issues of safety and quality of the vaccine, just because these are nationals, they are not our citizens, they've come from the diaspora, especially the Western world, and they do not accept our vaccine because they say they stay abroad and their children are vaccinated, they don't need to be vaccinated in our country. Um, so the different strategies that we have used is to involve the administration officers religious leaders and the decision makers and elders in the community, but we are not yet there. So maybe we can discuss this in another session. Mm. And thanks for Reda for organizing this and team. And there's a lot of learning and sharing of experiences on this platform. Thank you and over to you. Wonderful, thank you very much, Lili Mutua. And remember, Teach to Reach is your platform. It makes no sense without you because it is about it is your voices that you'll be hearing throughout this uh, even as Charlotte and I facilitate and uh, try to be gracious hosts now recognition for teach to, for, for teach to reach uh, has come um, over time and here I wanted to share a quote and really say that this is about you this is about what you've been doing for those of you who've been part of teach to reach uh, for many over many different uh, sessions um, this is dr kate o'brien and dr ephraim lomango who lead uh, vaccination respectively at who and unicef and here's what they had to say about teach to reach uniquely teach to reach provides a way to link health professionals together so that they can share experiences about what works now, another global health expert, Orrin Levine, a non-resident fellow to Center for Global Development, was actually instrumental to creating Teach to Reach originally. He said this, joining with the Teach to Reach community is like a chance to get a giant serving of education from the front lines of immunization. This is about you. This is about your capacity and what you have shown you are able to do through the power of peer learning. Now we're going to get very practical um, and I'm really, I'm actually going to log out of the platform here because I want to make sure that um, you get the greatest benefit from uh, Teach to Reach today. And the key to that is uh, if you are a guest of honor, of course, we want you to stay in the Zoom studio because you've been invited as a speaker uh, today. But um, 
If you are not a guest of honor, then it is really important for you to join the Teach to Reach Connect 9 platform. And with Charlotte, I wanted to start by asking her, actually, um, why is it so important? And why do we insist so much about joining this platform? Now, it's confusing because it used to be called Hopin and it was now bought by a company called Ring Central. But whatever it's called, it's our platform for Teach to Reach. Why does it matter? Thanks, Reda. It's really important because uh, what happens in Hop In is at the heart and soul of Teach to Reach. In this, in our Zoom studio, in the plenary sessions, we get to do group experience sharing. We get to listen to one another in a group setting, learn from one another, share comments. But there is one aspect of Teach to Reach that is very important, is capital, and I would like everyone to experience it, and that is the networking, the one-to-one -one networking. And there is only one place where that one-to-one -one networking takes place for now, and it's in Hop In. So if you want, I'm sure some people are here since morning, Hop In was open for networking for Anglophones. And so I'm sure you are you, some of you have already experienced that. But uh during this session, you also have the opportunity to log on, log into OpIn and access networking where you connect with professional colleagues from different countries, different system levels, different organizations to learn from one another, to pursue the conversation beyond the group setting and really get to ask some of the questions around the challenges you are facing. So it's really important, you know, to learn as a group, but it's also much more important to build our professional network through uh, networking in Hop In. So let's Thanks, Reda, or Ring Central. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Charlotte. So let's start with, uh, we're just going to show you very, really step by step. Uh, first of all, to know if you have access, uh, I've just, for those of you who uh, are in our Zoom studio, I've shared the, uh, the, uh, the, the link. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook, it's time to follow these instructions. You, you look, if you're registered for Teach to Reach, you receive the uh, a number of emails that contain the link. So what do you do there? If you're already registered, you join the event. So let's try that. Um, if, and you just enter the mail. So don't register multiple times or with different emails, and this will send you an access link, all right? Uh, now, I'm going to show you, so here, for example, I am already registered uh, for this, uh, for, for Teach to Reach. So let me see if I, uh, if I ask the platform, yes. So if I have what's called a ticket, but a ticket is free, <laughs> uh, then we have sent you an email and that will arrive at, on my mailbox. But I want to speak to the people and really show you step-by-step step what it's like to register if you have not done this before. So click on register. That's step one. Of course, you have to find the website first. And uh, if you're in the, um, uh, in the, wherever you may be, YouTube or LinkedIn or in our Zoom studio, if you haven't done this yet, then just follow along with me. And of course, if you're Anglophone, you'll want to click on uh, select the English country-based professionals. Uh, so you click here. That's step one. And then step two is to continue here. And um, uh yeah, now then you type your first name and your last name. So I'm typing mine. Don't type mine. Sometimes we have people who really follow to the letter uh, the, um, the, the advice here. And so here I will type my uh, email or uh, you'll type your email and then click on register. All right. And it says, thank you for registering. And, I, and now I can go to my email and let's see. Uh, and I see the message to look for is you're in Teach to Reach Connect 9 should arrive within a few minutes. Otherwise, you may have mistyped your email. That, And then let's look at this email. It says, thank you for registering to Teach to Reach Connect 9. Now, this can be confusing because what you're actually, what you actually need to access the platform is all the way at the bottom of this email. And it's a magic link. So it looks like a blue bar that says enter event. And this is a unique link for you only. Don't share it with anybody else. But when you find it, you click on enter event. And that is the magic link that takes you without needing a password or complicated registration straight to the platform. So there you go. That should be that simple. If you're on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, you have questions. We're looking at your questions, but uh, we can see that there are many, many people, as you can see here, let's uh, already in the plenary, I'd like to greet Charles Chasta Bell, working with UNICEF Health. And Charles's challenge is reaching zero dose communities. Immaculate Engo from Cameroon, hoping to learn and meet other experts in the health domain worldwide. Well, you're, you've come to the right place. Immaculate, tell us, what challenge do you need help with? What do you do in Cameroon for health? Joyce Marithi is 
uh, has a question for immunization professionals. How do we up demand for immunization to continue being at the top of the global agenda so that we do not have to deal with demand but leave the governments and global health professionals to deal with all other vaccine thematic uh, issues? So uh, if you are in the plenary, once you're here, you can really express, share your comments, share your questions, uh, respond to the questions that are on screen. So that um, if... You are on YouTube, LinkedIn, and wherever you are. Okay, right. And Awula Musa, you are indeed in the right place. Let's give you a thumbs up. So that is part one, is actually accessing the platform. Now, Charlotte, what is the most important and interesting, really the heart and soul of teach to reach in your opinion? Networking. All right. And Net <laughs> can you explain networking for someone who's never done it before? Okay, so it's really um, the opportunity to connect with a colleague in a private space on this digital platform that we now that we call Hub in now Ring Central. But it's really for you to connect with a colleague. And in the past, we used to we used to have, have five minutes to discuss, but for the very first time, we are extending that time uh, so that you are able to discuss with um, uh, uh, that colleague from a different country, it could be from a different system level on any topic of your choice. But we usually say, okay, we have different thematic areas around this tissue, which some of you have shared uh, your challenges and say you like help with those. So those are the things you may decide to talk about uh, during the networking. And at the end of it all, it is really about coming out maybe with practical learning from the strategies that they are using that you can then adapt within your context to solve some of the challenges you're facing. And uh, from uh, going through the thousands upon thousands of, uh, of, of feedback that is shared by participants after each teach to reach one thing that always shines through is how much people get to learn from their colleagues from different countries different uh, organizations on uh, through this one-to-one uh, -one networking so mm -hmm. that's in a few words and in a few seconds Rena. thanks what uh, this thanks, is all Charlotte. about yeah so i'm so here's what here's what's going to happen i'm not going to show you networking right away it is the most exciting part of Teach to Reach, but I'm going to make you wait because I first want you, would like you to understand how to navigate the conference. Once you're registered, the most important, your most important tool is the schedule. The schedule will show you what sessions are, are live now. And the first thing to pay attention to is, is it in Francais? meaning French, or in English. If it's in French and you don't speak French, you can ignore it. In fact, I'll show you a little tip, is if you go to the little funnel here and choose English, then you only see the sessions that are in English. Now, why is the schedule important? Because there are many different sessions. Some of them are running in parallel, and that means you're going to have to make decisions, and that includes networking. So right now, we are in a half-hour segment called the tutorial, How Does Teach to Reach Work? And let me know if you have any specific questions we're keeping an eye across all the different channels uh, if you have questions we'll try to answer them directly now after this tutorial we'll be kicking off the opening ceremony for teach to reach nine and so this is where we'll be announcing the different thematic ses sessions and workshops and they will be the women who deliver vaccines collective we're going to open the ceremony once again now we'll be reading the uh or in this case charlotte and boo uh will be reading the uh the manifesto version 2.0 we we uh we showed you version 1.0 at uh the 16th of june since then over 1300 uh health professionals have contributed their inputs comments reflections insights to strengthen the manifesto so version two has been transformed uh, by your experience and that is what uh, the women who deliver vaccines will be presenting first and foremost to then open up a discussion about hpv vaccination now uh, that will be that's just the opening ceremony but you can see here for those who want to go off and network you'll be free to do so with a networking one uh, session as you can see here once we kick off the main plenary We'll be shifting gears and going very quickly from one topic to the next, covering, talking, and discussing 
a number of topics, most of them on immunization, and then we'll shift to topics outside of immunization, such as uh, neglected needs of women's health with respect to neglected tropical diseases and climate change and its effects on health. So you can see by looking at the schedule at any time, you can know exactly where you go. Now, where things will get a little bit complicated is around four o'clock Geneva, the time you should see the time in your time zone because you will then have to make a decision. Will you join the zeroing on zero dose workshop that is happening inside the conference platform? Um, this is with the Gavi Zero Dose Learning Hub and, uh, and that at the same time, there will be a presentation of two research papers about the movement for immunization agenda IA2030 led by a um, Swiss uh, non-governmental organization called Bridges to Development, but also led by IA2030 movement leaders who participated and contributed to the research that is going to be presented at the same time. So you'll have to choose one of the sessions. Also at that time is additional networking and uh, we're proud to announce this plenary with our partner for Teach to Reach 9, UNICEF, uh, focused on zero dose in urban settings. We'll be introducing uh, our guides on the side uh, very soon uh, and we'll be learning by sharing of, sharing of experience around zero dose specifically in urban context. So there are three, four things that you can do starting at four o'clock and you're going to have to choose from the schedule which one of those you, are, you wish to engage in. Now, let me see. We can see more introductions here uh, in the uh, on the main stage. Uh, please do ask your technical questions. If you're having any kind of difficulty, you can also ask from Teach to Reach or anywhere else, wherever you may be. But that is a quick overview before I show you the networking and how the most important part, the heart and soul of Teach to Reach, actually works. So networking, you click on Join now. And I'm actually going to try this because there are almost always uh, people networking at this time. So let me see if I can join. So first of all, very important, we recommend you use Google Chrome, only have one window open at a time. Charlotte may have some other top tips for you, um, but um, you're going to be asked if, uh, if the platform can use your microphone and webcam. So you'll need to allow other won't be able to uh, talk or uh, share your uh, your video and nobody will be able to hear and see you. So now in my case, I don't have a webcam connected, which is fine. The main thing you need to make sure is you have a good microphone and good connectivity. So here I've given the, uh, the authorizations and then uh, it is connecting to the platform. We'll see who's there and if the platform can quickly find me, uh, find me someone. But the basic uh, message is as soon as you connect with somebody, you are able to speak to them in a private one-to-one -one conversation. And I think, Charlotte, there's been one big change from uh, compared to previous editions of, uh, of Teach to Reach. Can you tell us what has changed? Um, it, it used to be that the meetings were quite short. What is different for this Teach to Reach? Oh, so uh, really right uh, the the we found that um, uh, during previous Teach to Reach uh, 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 editions. All right, sorry, I'm going to I'm going to break because uh, we have Crew Mathieu and Gesson. Okay. And uh, so, Crew Mathieu and Gesson, uh, do you speak English? Uh, Est-ce que vous parlez anglais? Non, non, français. Ok, ok. En fait, on fait la démonstration pour les anglophones, donc je vais parler en anglais. Vous pouvez m'ignorer ah, si, vous, si vous voulez bien jouer le jeu pendant deux minutes. Merci. So, I'm just Mathieu. So, I'm connected. I'm bilingual. So, I'm connected to both uh, language groups. But as you can see, here is Mathieu. I can talk to him. I can ask him questions. Uh, and if you, as long as you've selected English only, you won't be having, you won't be running into French speakers. Uh, and so, I can say, yes, uh, do you speak English? Here in the chat, you have a little chat here. I can also say, uh, here is my WhatsApp number or here, uh, yes, uh, or email. Yeah, so you have a little chat here, and this is a private one-to-one -one conversation. Now, if I want to connect with Mathieu and Gesson, then I click on connect, and he'll receive an invitation, and both parties have to agree in order to, uh, uh, to share contact 
details. Now you can see there is now a very generous 15 minute segment in which you can start talking and you can always click on the extend button if you want to network for uh, longer. So, merci euh, Crew Mathieu Nguesson. <laughs> C'était juste pour les besoins de démonstration. Um, I think here you have seen all of the basics of uh, Teach to Reach networking. Uh, now leave so that Mathieu can continue to network with Francophones because this afternoon is really dedicated to uh, Francophones networking. But we know some people just ignore the plenaries and do nothing but <laughs> spend, and they spend all their time in the uh, plenaries. Uh, do you have any other top tips or advice, uh, Charlotte, on how to get the most out of networking? Yeah, Red Up, I just wanted to say there is that time extension. In the past, uh, networking session could run only for five minutes. And if and only if right. uh, uh, the, the, the two uh, colleagues communicating wanted to extend, they could extend the time after five minutes. But we thought uh, that it would be great if you can have up to 15 minutes of discussion. And if afterwards, we, that way, both of you can talk about your individual challenges and if that after 15 minutes you want to continue to pursue the communication you can still extend so i think that was uh, uh, uh that's uh what is new with teach to reach uh, uh connect nine radar and basically wonderful so yeah. Yeah. Now, some of the sessions, thank you, Charlotte, and some of the sessions uh, that are run concurrently, you'll see, do not take place in a Zoom plenary uh, or on the main stage over here. They take place in a session. So if you visit the sessions, you will see that there are, actually, they're not showing yet, but you will see uh, the specific dedicated sessions for uh, Bridges to Development, which will be focused on research into the, uh, the sustainability and impact of the movement for immunization. Agenda 2030. Let me just go down here to show you some of these concurrent sessions. And uh, so if you see sessions, it is not happening on the stage. You have to go into sessions and that is where you'll see these, uh, these sessions uh, appear. So if you want to go, for example, to the session with the Gavi Zero Dose Learning Hub, it you do not go to the stage. Uh, if you are in our Zoom studio, you'll need to move to hop in in order to access that session. The same with the Movement for Immunization Agenda 2030 session that I've mentioned. Um, and uh, conversely, the UNICEF plenary, that is on the stage. So by looking at the schedule, and you can see it's very convenient at any moment you have the schedule over here showing you what is live and what is coming next and where it is, uh, where it is happening um, so that you can see. So if it's a little uh, camera icon, that means the stage. If we scroll down further, you'll see that the... Um, you then see that there are the sessions. Uh, let me find the session. Yeah. Um, so that is, uh, let me see where are <laughs> the sessions. Okay, yeah. Where you have this little this little icon, a round table with three people around it. That means it's a session. It doesn't actually say session when you're consulting the short schedule here. If you go to reception, then you have the full version of the schedule. So that is um, what we do for... Um, the tutorial. Um, let's see if we have any questions. All right. And I see some great uh, chat <laughs> for people who are already comfortable with uh, Teach to Reach. And I want to uh, warmly welcome uh, some of our some of the guides on the side who are already here with us. Uh, so Deepa Pokerel from UNICEF, uh, Francois Gass, uh, and Laura Schimp um, from the uh, JSI immunization center so we'll be spending at least part of the afternoon with our guides and they'll be we'll be calling on them um to really share their reflections their uh, insights their advice and as you can see uh, laura let me see if i can uh laura has already begun uh sharing so yeah so that's it for the uh tutorial we have five more minutes so let's go back to uh our guest of honor, let's go to, uh, let me see if we can go to, all right, I see many uh, hands raised. Let's go to uh, Rosemary Adejo Adaji. And Rosemary, if you have any questions about how to use, how to make get the most out of uh, Teach Reach, but I think as you've been here before, perhaps ask you for your advice for someone who's attending Teach Reach for the first time. Um, how to get the most out of to Teach to Reach. But first, do introduce yourself, Rosemary, and then tell us what would be your advice um, for someone to get the most out of uh, Teach to Reach. 
All right, Rosemary. And we ask our guests of honor to really double check that their equipment is working <laughs> so that we, we don't, uh, don't, uh, don't have to expend precious time. Okay, wonderful. Rosemary. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes. Thank you for, yes. thank you for so, joining. So, yeah, Do introduce yourself and tell so us, I, I believe this is not your first Teach to Reach. Can you tell us what would be your advice, uh, your guidance for someone who's joining for the first time to get the most out of today's event? Okay, uh, my name is Rosemary Adejo Adaji. I'm a development worker working in Nigeria. So my advice to someone who is joining the Teach to Reach for the first time, so well, the first thing I would tell them is that uh, they should unlearn to be able to uh, relearn. So the truth is, there's a lot of things to learn about teach to reach, and then if you don't open up your mind, you know you may not be able to maximize uh, this great opportunity. So what I want to leave with you this afternoon is that be open to sharing. There are a lot of things to share, and there are a lot of. Um, Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. Now we have Uzo Amaka Ezenwugo, who is attending for the first time, uh, she just told us. Uh, and she's excited to learn from other professionals here. She says it's been amazing so far. Um, so Uzo Amaka, are you able to speak to us? I'm asking you to unmute. You may not have done this before. Uh, if there are others who are joining for the very first time, please let us let us know. Okay, wonderful. Uzo Amaka, um, okay. please tell us, um, introduce yourself, uh, tell us who you are, what you're expecting, and then tell us how it's going so far, your Teach to Reach, your first Teach to Reach experience. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, my name is Uzamaka Izamugo, um, a public health physician from Nigeria, um, um, immediate past um, Young Doctors Forum Coordinator for Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Enugu State, also in Southeast Nigeria. So um, I'm really excited to be here to uh, attend this teach to reach session for this year. And I'm really excited to, to learn from other professionals and, you know, help to achieve this um, Agenda for 2030. My special interest actually is in health education and health promotion, especially when it comes to cervical cancer and HPV vaccination. Okay, so because um, recently Nigeria um, just rolled out the HPV vaccines for cervical cancer, and um, from the COVID 19 um, our experiences, we, there are lots of um, misconceptions about vaccines and what the vaccines can do and what the side effects are and if we the women are going to allow their daughters to be vaccinated or not so that's that has been a challenge so far but um, i'm hoping to learn more from here today thank you thank you very much indeed and we do have a tradition which is we ask you even if you are alone in front of your computer screen when there is a someone who is attending for their first time we want to warmly welcome them into the teach to reach family so thank you uzo amaka for joining and we hope you find uh, warm greetings from fellow participants as well all right we have six minutes actually a little bit less because we have to switch over to a different live stream it is a technical it's a technical issue that we have to deal with uh, charlotte let's i suggest i think in terms of showing the practical steps so just to emphasize again that if you are on the stage uh the way you participate is by typing your messages here uh and responding to the messages of others so if you hear someone who is responding to questions um and who is one of our guests of honor well it is an invitation for you to answer those questions as well and then for our guides on the side we'll be turning to you uh for the specific sessions that you're involved with but also feel free to let us know if you <laughs> would like to share comment feedback uh, insight uh, as we go so charlotte i think we have time for one more person uh that when we love to hear we love nothing more than to hear from you that's what teach to reach is all about yes right i'm inviting dr suresh uh, uh suresh shukla uh, suresh are you able to unmute you also have uh, okay ah uh, usman mohammed that is already unmuted Oh, and then muted again. 
All right, Usman, you'll be our last uh, last speaker for this uh, warm up uh, session. Uh, do introduce yourself. Tell us what you're expecting from Teach to Reach and uh, what challenge you need help with. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Reda and Charlotte. Yes, we heard you fine, but it sounds like you've muted yourself again. For the wonderful amateur kids, are you hearing me? Uh, yes, but you're you're breaking up. But there there there's a lot of background noise, so we ask all our guests of honor to really double check to make sure your equipment is working properly because you've been invited to speak. It would be sad if you were not able to, due to technical issues. Usman, uh, are you hearing me now? Yes. Uh, uh, Okay, thank you so much, uh, Reda and Charlotte, for the wonderful experience sharing. My name is Usman Mohamed Tikur from Nigeria, Cameroon State, a public health practitioner. This is, this is an important gathering we have started since 2022, and we have learned a lot, a lot from different people, different angles of the world. And part of this uh, sharing experience, I want to have an insight or oh, I want to use it, this opportunity to share experience about the involvement of community structure and lack of professional service providers in some of our communities because some of our communities are in hard to reach area so there's lack of professional where to render the services to beneficiaries so we really really talk about this so that we should share ideas to know how are we going to tackle this kind of issue. Because when we tackle this issue, definitely it will help us drastically to reduce the level of service coverage. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. And we are less than two minutes away from uh, the main plenary session, starting with the opening ceremony. So we're actually switching over on the stage and we're going to switch over here very soon. Let me just... Uh, and thank you once again for this.